third Friday morning YouTube and welcome me to get swiftly back into your homes, lives, computers, phones and consoles. Um, yeah, it's a good Friday morning. It's my first day off this week. I did a 60 hour week, so if I'm a bit less energetic than usual, please forgive me. Uh, we're just going to go over a few things, looking at uh, megatins, as we now know the rarities of things, and price points, what's going to happen. We are doing a market watch, we're not doing a card reveal. So, yeah, some surprising ultras, some surprising secret rares. But Dodge is getting just common reprints, which I suppose is fine, but then they just didn't get reprints in the same rarity, because you don't always want common commons. So yeah, there we go. As always, guys, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Helps me greatly. Share if you can. And uh, let's go with the video. So, surprisingly enough, Postfix Ravens is yet again one of the most expensive cards from a set that it's actually in. And in this case, actually more expensive than Red Dodge Dragoon in the European Union. If you look in America, yeah, people are really want that uh, big high value money on that uh, Red Dodge Dragoon. But as we know now, as we now do know now, part of Extravagance is going to be a Prismatic Secret Rare. <gasps> Who would have guessed it? Two Secret Rare startings for a card that's really good in some metas and pretty much this meta. Yeah, so we've got part of Extravagance. Apparently people have brought this card already. But uh, yeah, so cheap is currently going at English. This guy's got a place set. This guy's got a place set at uh, the 32. Unless you really want that prismatic sparkliness, start considering looking at the Toon Chaos ones. As I predicted not so long ago, that card will drop down to 20 to 25, especially with the unlimited printings coming out now. Excuse me, bit of a bit of puppy. Um, so yeah, if anything, look at the Toon Chaos. That's going to be your cheapest price point for a while. In all fairness, so if we start pulling these and there's literally a ton of these coming out on market, there's a good chance that these will also drop too. As we know for now, you're only getting you're only going to get three pulls per tin. And I believe there's 27 available, so you're going to get 1.4 card of each card per tin. So yeah, some of these are going to be shorter than the others. Riddars Dragoon, as I said, this is now the second highest card here. It did have an earlier price point of 41, but has somewhat dropped down. So cheapest English is 29.69. Giggity. Um, so you guys, Prince Jason. Yeah, that's a good price. As I said, in America, you're looking cheapest over there. It's like $65 for one of these. Do yourselves a favour. If you're really worried about not getting one, get yourself one now, although a bit cheaper. Because once the Americans realise it's cheaper to buy from the European Union, they're going to buy them all up. That's a very common tactic for America. It's how their prices actually crash, and European prices actually stay high or inflate. I posted both of guys, coming as an ultra rare. It's going to look very nice, isn't it? Ooh. I wish you could see that. Certainly not a uh, prismatic -y shiny shiny, but it's going to get an alternate art very soon anyway. But yeah, ultra rare, pris uh, ultra rare card coming soon. Cheapest here in English is 20 euros. It's not a bad price. Obviously, the price point for this card currently is around about the... I believe it was 45 when we looked the other day. Have a quick look now. Let's see if it's crashed anymore. Cheapest, 35. Eh, Totally up to you now, fixture 15, you know, that's a few extra cards. If you just want to get your deck, then, you know, pay the extra money. If not, you're okay with Ultra Rare. I personally like Ultra Rare. Ultra Rare is good enough for me. Crackdown. Fantastic card. Alter Guy says, that's mine now. And you don't get a choice about it. Uh, original printing, I believe, was Super Rare. Yep, this is now, I believe, a shiny Prismatic Rare. Cheapest at two sixty nine, two places available. Price point for this isn't very high, but it's gonna look very nice. For me personally, I hope not to pull any of these from my tins and go buy them as singles. But, uh, but yeah, definitely an upgrade. Or for those who haven't thought about playing a control heavy deck, Crackdown, great card, fantastic card, beautiful card. Sign it mining, and I didn't see these on the list. Maybe I'm just going blind because I'm getting old, so it's possible. But I have no idea where these were. I've got a funny feeling these are going to be super rares because of how cheap they are. But we already have the Ultra in Dual Overload as well as the original printing in Dark New Storm as super rare. Price points of these aren't too bad. And then £2 for a playset here, cheap as English. And then two playsets here for £2.45 each. And then two fifty for the next card singles. Um... Price point, a lot of English and stuff, which makes a change. Uh, price was actually not too bad. 
if you're still looking for your Sonic Mines, well, I think a few people are because they didn't want to pay like the the ten pound here or the the fifteen pound here, and I just don't know everyone's got the budget to play, you know, thirty to forty five pound for a few cards. You know, some people are budget players and they have to wait a couple of years to play their decks. Yeah, it's gonna look great for you guys. Ten pound for free cards. I can't complain about that. Brawlord Savage Dragon coming out in Prismatic Secret Rare. That is a rarity upgrade. I know a lot of people complain that it's not a real secret rare, but it's still class to secret rare. Price point is currently around about the twenty pounds or twenty euros, twenty euros, twenty two. Lot, lots of hell a lot of English at the moment. That's very you don't you see a lot of English on the market, so I'm quite happy to see this. Apparently, tins is where you see all your English cards. How much we're we looking here in Savage Strike? Current cheapest English is twenty five. Your price point's about the same at this point, so it's totally up to you what you prefer. If you want the Ultra, Ultra's a nice looking, or if you want the Secret Rare. Personally, if you're getting tins, I'll buy your tins, do what you're going to do. After that, whatever's left, you can go for it. Striker Dragon. Now, originally from Chim. Brain's going dead, I don't know why. Should be wide awake right now. Cheapest here for Prismatic Secret Rares is 350 Not bad. Yeah, holding a good price point. Currently on... Chimp, these are these were 15 not too long ago. Have they dropped again? They have dropped down to yeah, trying to meet the same price points, but I don't think people are going to sell them for that cheap. Yeah, they're not going to sell them for that cheap. So, this is now going to be a collector card for sets as the other card is cheaper. Enjoy. LP got a secret rare upgrade and it's super cheap. One per deck as a rule. Definitely a card worth uh, picking up if you want a upgrade rarity. No, I do. IP Mascarena. No, I think she's coming as a secret, right? My brain's not dead. I'm pretty sure she is. And price point is around about the 15 mark for English. Now, her original printing in Kim Kimmy Kim, not the secret Starlight, right? Because we can't play that one. Um, are you around about the same price point? You are around about the same price point. So, yeah, now it's your choice. Do you want the Ultra or do you want the Prismatic Secret Rare? Your choice. Same price points. That's not too bad. Mech Knight uh, Crusadia Avamex. My brain is so dead today, I have no idea why. Original printing in Dane. We're going to have a quick look here, see how much his price point is as well. Cheapest in English is 6. Fantastic price point. Now, I believe this is going to be a Ultra. And then Crusadia here is 13. So, yeah, price has come down considerably. There you go, it was literally a month ago. 23. Staying around that price point for a while. And I think people have obviously realised because the new it was coming has come down in price. Personally speaking, unless you don't really care about rarity, I would always go for the highest rarity card. Especially now that this price point is coming down. Cherubini, also a Dane card. Was one of the uh, top four Dane cards for a while. Currently sitting at around 550 for pre sale. I'm pretty sure Cherubini is also an ultra rare, so it's just come down in its current price point that current rarity which is secret rare and its secret rares here are going for seven pound uh nine pound so mm, two up to you you're paying four pound difference if you really want the secret rare because you're a massive uh budding wrist player there you go something for you guys gives mech orochi the serpentine slash sky slasher if you like playing your uh grandma decks you've been like, oh, you know what, I can't get one of these. They're going for like £25 still. Well, here you go, guys, for a nice three here on sale at a £4 at market price. Uh, four, four twenty, four twenty, four twenty, four twenty. Yeah, got quite a lot on market still, so no issues there. Current price point for the Secret Rare. I'm pretty sure, by the way, this has come out in Prismatic Secret Rare. I could be wrong, it could be Ultra. But Ultra will still look very nice as it is. Uh, this is going for... 750 yeah if you want to get the um secret rares that's the time, that's the time to get them pisty again another card that needed just a nice ultra uh upgrade rarity to this card it's beautiful pre-sales here at 150 very nice good price points I'm always concerned like when you see people like sell these are so cheap because this is like the same price point that the original card was at that they're going to be like super bulk common and this one's going for, yeah, dropped in price. Not too long ago, this was like a, a £150 card. Drutinite Romulus. 
as we know, we're getting Dragoon T structure deck soon in the OCG, which we will receive probably early next year. I think it will be the same time around about when we got our Shadol deck, I think, I feel like. So, the OCG should be getting there soon, by the time that we get our uh, Charmer deck. And then we'll get this structure deck, and then we'll get the next structure deck after that. I look forward to it. I want to see what they're going to do to it. The deck looks good. The, the color cards that they've shown extra that look really good. Pre sales are 150. Yeah, it's not too bad. This card was going for about five pounds for a while, so I can't complain about that. And if we have a quick look on the old other one, because this is that is a secret rare now. Um, it's about the same price point. It's about the same price point. It's up to you guys if you can get a first edition in good condition. I'd probably consider this. But uh, who knows? Mega Fortress. This guy was going up in price not too long ago because of Zodiac and the Tribal Grade coming out. Price point is ridiculously low. It isn't Ultra though. But uh, if you haven't got your copy in Secret Rare, I definitely recommend the Ultra. Uh, so this is going to go for. How much are we going for now? Because it well, looks. Bro, price have dropped. You know, looking for a couple of weeks, price has dropped like crazy. For cheapest English is 380. Yeah, it's not so bad. Free. Yeah, hey, if you want to get yourself the nice prismatic rare, you go for that. It's very nice. And then, last but not least, Sezzle, the Watcher of the Evil Eye. The so shorted this card from its debut box, and they didn't reprint any of the goddamn things until now. And it's not even a good archetype. That's that's the worst thing. This archetype is so awful, and they didn't even reprint it until now. A little bit, a uh, little bit disgusting there, Konami. But yeah, super cheap card on sale. I mean, it held a, I believe, like twenty-five to like thirty-five price point for like nearly a year and a half. It came down. There you go. So it has come down now to around about the nine pound mark. But yeah, over here in the last few months it has come down steadily. But yeah, not too long ago it was up in the thirties, up in the thirty-fives. It was so short printed. That's it, guys. Thanks for joining me today. That was a bit of a weird one. But uh, have a good and enjoy your weekend. I know I'm going to. There will be you'll be receiving two uh, unboxing videos this weekend. It gives me a little break. Spend time with the kids and the missus. So uh, until then, see you guys Monday. Peace out. You guys enjoy the openings. I know you will. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>